Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're checking out the ruin of House Isner. Um, this is a this is a location that spawns in basically every game, and I don't really know what to expect. I've never done this, but it is a artifact, and it's one of the special named artifacts that are are really really good. So it's only eight penetration. <laughs> So I, right away, I don't think I can justify using this, but what does it uh, do? Plus one ego. Whenever you discharge a full barrel of ammo with this weapon, you automatically score a critical hit with the last shot you fired. Oh, it uses lead slugs. Press space to recall story. The craftsmanship of this pistol worked in chrome and brass is breathtaking. Grips of king's wood wrap the palm around itself, themselves. The hammer is contoured to your thumb with infinitesimal precision. The eye of the barrel leers at your target. Twines of weathered ivy are engraved along its frame and down its barrel stained with age and blood. The seven lords of House Isner feasted on boar gut and swilled wine from gilded cups in the ivy-strewn halls of their old. Yes, we are reading this. I, it's, I, I've been tr waiting, hopefully, to get the the gun of House Isner for ages, so we're, we're reading this. They spared no concern for temperance, for the coffers of their house had swelled with gardeners. Uh, gold amassed through the sale of water drawn from the Lord's wells. But as the gluttonous barons counted seven amongst their clan, so had become numbered their days of debauchery, when the son of a beggared, uh, Gardner swore a vengeful oath in the name of his father against the house of Isner. The penniless boy beseeched a gunsmith of great repute to craft for him a pistol of the most exquisite artistry, with which he could be sure to vanquish the seven lords, and in return the boy promised the smith all the spoils of the battle. The smith, who in the hazel eyes of the boy beheld the spirit of vengeance, agreed, and so the boy, armed with a masterwork pistol, cast open the doors of the hall of Isner, with a fury that shook their iron hinges and seized upon the supping lords before any of them had yet set down their gilded cups, the boy unholstered the pistol and shot dead six of the sons of Isner. The last lord rejoiced at this his fortune and reached for his hip from where he would sling a pistol of his own at the spent boy. But as his crooked finger freed his holster strap, the boy shot the lord between the eyes, for the smith had crafted for the boy a pistol with seven chambers and seven slugs, such as it was, that on this day the house of Isner fell. Neato. Love that. And there's the achievement, the Spirit of Vengeance. And of course we must get ourselves a really cool chest, which is generally not common. Anything cool in here? No. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that was that was pretty quick. Um, I was expecting a bit more from that. I guess I could have done that in the last episode, but you know what? No. Um, so why don't we just go to a historic site in the in Lake Hinnom? Why not? Why not just do that? And then we'll uh, continue buying some some cool stuff from uh, you know our our legendary Icker merchants. Can't find a way to read. Huh? I don't. No, I want to fight this guy. You know, historic sites are are generally a pretty good way of um, spending time, as I've said before. And I have never been to one inside a uh, in Lake Hinnom. But you know what we're gonna do? Because I really don't want to deal. What? What is that? Oh, I see. I have to break through this wall, I guess. Ebon full creep. Uh, I was, I'm gonna cook with um, Skulk again, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna dig down. I don't want to really deal with the surface because it's kind of a mess. I am I am getting like slightly lazier as time goes on. With cud, and I, I don't like. I just don't want to have to deal with the surface. There's nothing really good for us here. All right. 
So, I won't lie, this isn't really much better. I am just kind of holding the button down. Which you should never do, by the way. These are one of the few enemies that can actually hurt us. I am confused. And now I am temporarily I'm, I'm temporarily no longer in the same place. I don't know where I am. 16 strata deep. Truly we are not in Kansas anymore. I don't know what happened there. Something caused a temporal rift or a space-time rift. Is this a steep beard? Tart beard. So, yeah, we're, we're underground. There could be some fun stuff down here, but it's not really what I was trying to do. We could just recoil back to uh, Eid Freehold. But, you know, I, I would be lying if I would, you know, was saying I'm not completely disinterested in, in this place. But, yeah, there's, there doesn't seem to be anything really interesting here. Why, why am I still exploring it? I don't know. Okay, um, eat freehold. Thank goodness for recoilers, huh? If it wasn't for them, I, I just don't know what I'd do. It might be it might be coming up to time for me to explore um, the Deathlands, cause like it, it, I feel like there's just no excuse for me to be roaming around with flawless crystal at this point instead of Zetachrome. Oh, there's staircases right there, and I didn't I didn't take note of them. We're hungry. Yeah. This is like the worst. I, I take that back. Actually, it, it can't possibly be worse than uh, Croco Land. That really is the worst. And uh, you know, there's there's bound to be at least two historic items in this in this location, which is pretty nice. Is this thing dead? What is this? Enigma cone. Grants you confusion at level three if you already have confusion. Where does this go? Uh, it, oh, this goes on our body? I mean, no thanks. It's interesting though. Granting confusion is kind of a tempting premise. Go ahead and treat these as scrap. Since the vast animus. Oh, there's a clam. That's nice. Um, you know what? Actually, you know what would be a really good thing for this right now? Is the geomagnetic disc. Because this has, like, for sure pen. And it also hits multiple creatures at once. So... The geomagnetic disc is gonna do gonna do work here for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm. It's maybe a slower in some ways, but it's probably a lot safer. I wish I got any XP from this. Okay, that was uh, pretty good. It's we we haven't even begun with this with this zone. 
Definitely the geomagnetic disc was the call. More books. Is that, uh, yeah, the deep slumberling is actually awake, so I want to deal with that. <laughs> I love watching the little disc fly around and hit just like everything. It's so much fun. Worth it for that, honestly. Okay. Seems to go through walls in some ways, too. Okay, we're this poison is still kind of ebbing away at our health. It's a really good way of just like crowd control, kill everything. Damn, it's just like, they just don't stop. Because those snail mothers are like ha laying eggs and the eggs eventually hatch and it's just like a lot. I really wish I could rest, but I don't know why. My rest button doesn't seem to want to work. Herberry, box of crayon. Okay, we continue downwards, but I think we should wait for our health to come back. Just like, let's just like be very basic smart. Oh. Even even with this, it's it it's gonna take forever. And we don't get any XP. If we even got like two XP. Maybe we do get some Oh yeah, we do. We get 62 XP. Okay, so yeah, alright. It is actually worth it. 62 XP is nothing, but it's gonna add up because there's so many of them. Trade fodder that we probably... Oh, Crystal Longsword! That's actually great for us. See, all I all I want to do is mash the uh, attack nearest creature. Because then it just, like, kills everything. But these, um... The Ick Slugs, for some reason, they, they can, like, hurt, uh, inflict poison on us. And uh, that's enough to like do a little bit of damage. I have I have resistance to poison, but it's still enough to hurt a little bit. And over time, especially when you're holding buttons down, which is just the absolute biggest no-no in Cud, um, you will you will start to see less than forty percent health. <laughs> no matter how much health you have, no matter how much armor you have, an AV. Um, so, not a good idea, like, look at this, but, like, I, I really just wanted, I mean, it's satisfying, for one thing. It's, it's really satisfying to just, like, murder everything by holding down a button. I know it's, it's bad play. You don't, don't have to worry. I, I've learned nothing. <laughs> We have a psionic flawless crystal warhammer, which is actually really good, but these things disappear as I understand it. They seem to have always disappeared. Um, so this is actually kind of not great. Uh, let's do temporal fugue. Hopefully we don't create a space-time vortex. Hey, we leveled up.
I'm just like either waiting for my clones to disappear or for them to kill everything, which they didn't do a very good job, if I'm being honest. Find a, can't find a way. These glitter mench suck. Again, holding down the button. Okay, that glitter mensch is officially, like, stuck in there, so I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, Temporal Fugue. The worst thing about this is I think we can be hurt by our own electrical generation if we're, like, close to enemies. And they arc. That that damage arcs, right? So it's not great. Also, if my Temporal Fugue clones use an ability, they also have a chance of creating a uh, space-time vortex. So this is just like a, a lot of things. Um, space uh, Temporal Fugue has turned into more of a curse than a benefit. Which I, is a very case of cud thing to happen, I think. We are famished. Probably want to stop to make food. I should... Am I inspired? I should make a, a food with hulk honey and uh, bone meal. I wanted to do that. Just like clear this floor. Uh, this is bad. Okay, no, this could be okay. Using the geomagnetic disc again. There we go. I was just a little bit concerned that that thing was gonna traipsing mortar or whatever it is was gonna hit us. We need to herbary. I see we have a uh, some kind of artifact that I need to. Oh, that's right. We're ill, so that's not gonna do anything for us. Another dangerous thing about X slugs getting poisoned or ill makes it so that you can't um, you can't heal. It's probably the most dangerous thing about them. Okay, so we should be good. I'm gonna make a camp here. What do you mean can't cook with hostiles nearby? There's no hostiles. Get out of here. <laughs> I have a camp, okay. No, preserve fresh goods. Choose ingredients, bone meal and um, Hulk honey. We could do mashed lag as well. I don't see any, any reason why not. Extra willpower could be good. Uh, whenever you suffer two times two or greater physical penetration, you gain eight strength. Whenever you drop below 30%, you can use Intimidate. These all kind of suck. I'm not a huge fan of these. Plus six AV is kind of interesting. Dropping below 30% health in order to get that extra AV is risky business, but hey. Okay, geomagnetic disc time. We just Xena-ing for days. Oh, that's a legendary over there. Swarm Alpha, loved by the third Maruridian church. Hated by the Seekers of the Sightless Way. We might actually become on good terms with the Seekers of the Sightless Way. Kind of want to get to below 
30% health just to get that ridiculous AV. Because we'll be at 28 AV. <laughs> I'm still not there. Oh, there we go. 26 AV. So I just discharged. Um, and I can temporal fugue. I think we created a uh, space-time portal. Also, I'd like to herbary. There we go. We're at negative 290 with the Secrets of the Sightless Way. So that's kind of absurd. I, I have never been on good terms with them. We, we've made some like real crazy firsts in this run, but I'm, I'm like friends with the Gersh, with the Glow Whites. I'm, I could be friends with the, uh, what is this? Oh. The salt spangled breast of tuna pep, tuna pad, cook home. Plus four willpower and acid resistance. It's fine. It's okay. Stasis grenade mark two. Maintenance card. I'm not sure if uh, I don't have every single card in the game at this point. Also, is that it? I thought for sure that this historic site would have uh, like a, a second or third item, but I guess not. Not to sound disappointed or anything. It's fine. That's all right, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. I like you know. I I do these historic sites mostly out of novelty. Like it's just a lot of fun. To, to find out like what kind of item you're prone to get. Also, I think I just destroyed, yeah, I just destroyed an agate gemstone. Oops, oopsie daisy. Also, um, not that this is related at all, but I think I have sun slag that I have to eat. Yeah, I have been like keeping sun slag on me this whole time. I don't think that there's any downside to drinking this. Like I, I don't think that there's like a an oopsie daisy you died and we're at quickness 151 now, which means I think every second turn we get an extra turn. You can get to a, like absurd, absurdly high quickness. I don't think, and I, you know, I don't think there's any achievements associated with that. Not that there needs to be, but. Okay, so we could go to Grit Gate. I want to I want to know what this hat is. It looks like an interesting hat. Enigma cap. Does this give us resistance? No, it gives us confusion. So we could have uh both two two parts to uh, two two pieces of equipment that give us confusion and then improve our confusion giving powers, which is kind of fun. <sighs> okay. Um let's let's uh let's go to Great Gate. Like I said, we're after we're done with this historic site, I want to check out our legendary Icker merchants and basically trade in everything we have. Um, so, you know, we can continue this absurdly strong run. I should cook with some uh, some neutron flux at some point, since I, seeing as I don't need it as, as badly. Um, all right, Icker Merchant. I'm pretty sure it'll be, it would have been uh, long enough by now that we have more stuff. We've got more engraved stuff. No, no, we haven't gotten really lucky with any of that. More cloning draw it. Gonna go ahead and trade this in. I don't, I don't care. Um, we'll trade in our crystal shard mail. We've got a ton of books to hand in. We can trade in our data disk for terrifying visage since we already have it. I know it's been there's been a lot of trading 
in this uh, in this playthrough. I mean, that was kind of like inevitable, wasn't it? Right? There's not really many ways to escape that. Okay. Uh, I wish I could quicken it as much as I, you know, and I try my best. Ooh, we got some Russia floor. But at a certain point, you just kind of have to grit your teeth and do it and try and do it right. It's actually, it is one of my favorite parts of CUD is like, you know, checking out the stores. It's a little treat. You get a little treat after you've, you know, um, muscled through several historic sites of filled with the uh, dismembering croco lads. No one, no one needs that. Laser pistol. Uh, I don't. I won't sell the ruin of House Isner. Um, I am probably going to end up using these two because they both give pretty good stuff. Lacquered. Painted. It is lacquered. And it's scoped. It is actually scoped. It's just just a dang shame that we can't put jacked on it like jacked would make it just over the top good okay that's two ickers down here's the third actually did we just do this one try this one Discovered the location of Nagamas Nomad Home, a new historic site. Wow, finally. More Resha floor. Hey. We're definitely going to want to go to um, the Six Day Stilt. Find that Neutron Flux. We could start cooking with Neutron. I know I keep saying that. The reason I'm hesitant to cooking with Neutron Flux is because the only like since I don't have the ability to uh, kind of in-game save scum, uh, aka either use a, a Sphinx salt injector or um, use uh, what you might call it precognition, since I can't really do that, uh, I'm kind of stuck in this awkward position of like, do I? I don't know. Do I actually save scum? Like, do I just do that? It would mean that we can cook with uh, Neutron Flux, but like, do we need to do that? Do we need to cheat in order to get some extra boon? I don't necessarily think we do. Um, I know I've like done stuff like drank lava and stuff, but this is different because like, this is a boon that we only get by taking a risk of ending the run. And we don't even get an achievement for doing so. It's like literally just an extra thing that we get. And I feel like the run is already good enough. You know, I don't need to cheat in order to make it even better. That just seems not really in the spirit of the game. I don't know. So I'm finally like getting through some of our actual trade fodder. Like I'm now trading uh, Taco Supremas, that's a good sign. Um, so let's drink some more stuff. We'll drink some more Sun Slag. Like, if I can drink Sun Slag and get permanent extra quickness, I don't think I need to be cooking with Neutron Flux. So I guess the real question is, why am I taking it? Brightness burns your mouth, but you cannot be roused any higher. Oh, really? That's it, huh? That's it? I, I, I've reached the cap of what how high my quickness can go? Fun. All right. So let's um, drink some brain brine then. That was our 13th dram. Seven more to go. <laughs> we got Siphon Vim. Our ego is starting to actually get kind of low. <laughs> um, I kind of wouldn't mind if we could, like, uh, you know, meet some psychic hunters. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Come on, come on, come on.